Hello, welcome to Bogor Nurseries with Janine. Give me this climbing plant. It's going on a tripod here in the middle of a perennial uh, bed. I just give me a little trim over, cutting away some of the dead wood and being careful not to remove some of the flowering shoots on it. This is Clematis Nelly Moser. It's a climber for wall, fence, or arch. We're going on a tripod here just to add some colour. Next video up, I'll show it to you in, in full flower. It was fantastic. The flower in late spring and early summer, take a rest midsummer and then flower late summer and autumn. Now you can plant them from this time of the year from a plant this size here. So this is Clematis Nelly Moser. So it's pink with a carmine stripe on the petal, enormous flowers. You dig a hole twice the depth of the pot. You put some super dry planting fertilizer at the bottom, some compost and soil on top, and the same back in the round. I plant it a little deeper than it is in this pot and then put a big flat stone or slate on top of the soil to keep its feet cool. It likes cool feet and a warm head. Now, we need to feed it to make sure we get those enormous flowers this year and get lots of them. At this time of the year, we're trimming back perennials we're pruning back roses and we're feeding every four to six weeks with some flower max to make sure we get lots and lots of colour this coming year. So Clemens' Nelly Moser is going to get a couple of handfuls of flower max around. There's a flock here beside it's going to be fed as well. So every four to six weeks from now, feed your perennial flowers, feed your roses, feed your clematis. All flowering plants need to be fed from now, your hydrangeas of course as well. Every four to six weeks from now or until September to get the most from them. Lots of flowers and bring out the intensity of the flower colour. Watch out for the next video. I'll show you this one in full flower last summer. Goodbye for now. Enjoy your gardens.